So I really must be out of the loop because I just jumped into the headset. Check my system here. Check software updates, see if there was anything available. And nothing's available, right? It all seems normal. And except for the fact that it's version 69, I don't know when that happened. But uh, yeah, so that's a thing. Uh, we're already up to version 69, which also nice. But I had no idea that version 69 was already out or even going to be out. Like, I don't think anyone talked about it. Okay, so what's going on? Uh, it did say updated a day ago, so I guess that happened either yesterday or today. I don't think I played yesterday or used it yesterday, so I don't really know. But here you go. Week of September 5th version 69 so what is it about i don't know i have no idea what version 69 is about i haven't seen any videos about it usually they tell us a week in advance uh, maybe i just haven't been watching these guys and, and youtube didn't show it to me but let's see what they got here so if you're going to use meta horizon you have to have version 69 apparently starting in october i don't really use it so i don't really know much about it Moving on. Hey Meta, wake up word on MetaQuest. We're, we've introduced a way to invoke Meta AI. See, that's the other thing, the whole Meta AI thing. I saw that as an option. I don't know how I feel about that. I am, I'm getting on in my age and I don't know how I feel about the whole AI thing. So I haven't really fucked with it yet, but it's a thing apparently. So I guess you can use it, you know, kind of like, when you say hey google or something so hey meta so that you can get that thing going maybe i'll try that later i don't know window layout in version 67 we announced a new window layout for meta quest that was accessible from the experimental settings now in v69 this window layout will be turned on for everyone i don't know what they're talking about unless they're talking about the window setup that i have right now where you can move shit around i thought everybody had it Spatial audio for windows. Audio from select windows. Hold on. So when they say windows, they don't mean like the computer windows. They mean these windows. All right. So audio from select windows will sound like it's coming from those window locations around you. Bullshit. That sounds kind of cool, but I don't know if that's going to work. Which can provide richer and more realistic audio this does not affect audio within fully immersive apps okay so i'm guessing when you're here in the home environment and you have multiple windows the, the sound from that window will sound like it's coming from that window like you actually have a real screen instead of it just being all around the environment how do we test that we'll, we'll see what we can do we'll, we'll try that out see if it's actually there Remove apps from library. Take care of visual clutter in your library with the ability to completely remove unwanted apps and worlds, including leftover apps that you've already uninstalled. Select remove from library. Okay, see, that's pretty cool. Because before, what you would do is you, you would just hide it. So when you, like there's certain free apps that you can, you know, just, you pretty much just videos, watch them. And after that, you kind of don't really care for them, but they just sit there in your library and you can't get rid of them. You want to install it, but it's still sitting there. So really all you could do is hide it. Now they're saying you can completely remove it. So we got to check that out as well. A Bluetooth quick pairing. You can now quickly pair supported Bluetooth devices like headphones, keyboards, mice, and game pads when they're in pairing mode in your headset. I don't really fuck around with that, so I don't know how that works. I'll be honest with you. Uh, the only thing I would pair is headphones, and I don't use them because there's so much of a lag. It just is horrible. Like if I pull, like if I have a gun and I pull the trigger, I don't hear the sound until like long after I like the gun has actually fired in the game. So I don't bother with that. I actually just I'm wired in. Seamless multitasking. See, you can now multitask more effectively by keeping the universal menu and up to three windows open during immersive experiences this can be used to look up information watch videos or chat with friends while staying engaged with it i thought that was already a thing so basically while i'm in a, in, in a game i can have up to three windows plus what did it say another the main window the universal menu yeah 
and up to three separate windows. I I never really used this, so I didn't know if you could do that. But cool if you use it, you know. Seamless multitasking can be enabled in experimental settings. Yeah, content adaptive backlight control. Improves contrast and battery life by adjusting the backlight of your headset based on the content you're viewing. I don't understand what that is. I don't understand what, what they're referring to. Are they referring to like what I'm doing right now? That since I have this large window open, I can change the lighting in here? because that's always been a thing so far. I mean, with you know, the previous version software update. Uh, it could be something else. I just, I don't understand what it is. We, we gotta see what's changed. Boundary improvements. Your boundary is more dynamic now with frictionless access to Meta Horizon Home. By automatically placing you into a stationary boundary when you visit your home, you'll no longer have to repeatedly find or create a room scale boundary. You'll still be asked to create a room scale boundary when you open immersive. I don't really understand what talking about head tracked cursor interaction improvements improves the behavior of the head tracked cursor to stay hidden when it's not wanted such as watching a movie or using 2d apps okay all right that's fair enough i don't i never noticed any of that before so i don't really understand it either you're now able to view the last seven days of, in, of sensitive permission access by and who, who the fuck cares? Let's be honest, nobody looks at that shit. Privacy settings states. We are making privacy settings easier to use with Meta Horizon Worlds and simplifying settings for everyone in a few ways. Control your privacy across Meta Quest and Horizon Worlds in a more unified way. Control your visibility and status. I, I'm always pretty much hidden, so I can't really comment on that. Stylus support. Tracked stylus devices, including Logitech MX Inc., can now be used to interact with the universal menu. You can learn how to use it, configure its button mapping, and adjust its pressure sensitivity in stylus settings. Okay, is that uh, for Quest 2 as well, or just for Quest 3? Horizon, okay, so they got a new environment. Let's, I gotta check that out. I didn't get a chance to. I usually kind of look through all that stuff before I start playing, but immediately when I saw that we had a, an update, I just kind of jumped in to record. Okay. Uh, escape to Oceanarium. Our latest Horizon Home. Immerse yourself in an underwater world filled with... Alright, so we gotta check that out. Let's see what's going on there. Get up close and personal with Seater. Oh my god, that'll be awesome. All right. Okay, so what do we need to look at to see if it's available? I guess we gotta enable the, the voice thing and see if that works. Uh, the window layout, I, I'm assuming we've already seen that. It's just letting us know that it's now available to everyone. We gotta try the spatial audio for, for the different windows, see how that works out. I uh, doubt it will show up in video, but you'll just have to take my word for it if it works or not. Uh, and we gotta see about removing the apps. The Bluetooth quick pairing, I can't do anything with. I don't really multitask, so it's not you know something that I can even look at. The backlight control, we'll see if there's a you know, like an option somewhere for that. Uh, and I cannot do the the stylus thing because I don't have it. All right, so let's let's see what we got. Let's uh, get out of here. Okay, and let's go into settings. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The hand tracking, you know, going in and out from the hand tracking to the controllers is getting buggy right now. But it's probably because I'm recording. All right, let's see what's going on in experimental. Meta AI. Ask Meta AI questions about what you see. All right. I may have to restart it. Let's hope not, though. Ah, oh, crap. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's fuck around with it. Help improve voice conversations. Nah. It's okay. I noticed those are Quest 3 controllers. Double press the meta button to ask meta AI anything. Alright, uh, as an old person, usually I ask what's the weather, so let's ask that. Uh, you're not even gonna let me ask something. Okay, take a photo. Take a photo. Take a photo? All right, it's not working. All right, tell me a joke about robots. It's not working. <laughs> All 
All right, I don't know, maybe it's my microphone because I have a Bluetooth microphone connected. I did. It's listening. Take a photo. Take a photo. It's, it's, it's like disengaging. All right, this ain't working. So, no, nah, we're, we're done. You're not working. Okay, let's go back. All right, so we're not fucking with that right now. It doesn't seem to want to work. Maybe it doesn't work when you're recording. I don't know. Uh, let's see what else we got. Seamless multitasking. See, use your universal menu and windows while immersed in an app. Reference video. Okay, so I'm guessing that this took the place of what originally was enabling the multiple windows because you had to enable that. I'm guessing now that's the only option by default. So this is just so that you can do it in an app. So we gotta open up an app and we'll, we'll see how that looks. But we won't do that just yet. For now, I wanna do the multiple windows thing. So let's go to browser and okay, we'll go here. And let's see what happens if I open up a window and move it. Let's click on this. All right. And then pick this up. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Wait, but why I don't see the video? What's happening? What? This doesn't make any sense. Why is it doing this? So let's do this. Okay. So when I minimize the window, the sound is just kind of everywhere. But when I bring the window back, it comes from here. That is so cool, actually. But why is it that I don't see the video? Is there something going on with YouTube, maybe? All right, let's open it up again. Okay, there it is. Pause that. All okay, right, so I have this here, and I could play this, but we could probably open up another YouTube window. I don't think they'll play at the same time, though. But all right, let's just go in here. Okay, let's go here. That is so cool. So cool. Okay, uh, let me close these windows because you're probably not going to be able to hear me as well. It's got too much going on. It works. So if you put if you put the screen over here and you're looking this way, you only hear the audio coming from your left side. And if you have something on the right side, you only hear the audio coming from the right side. And if you put it further away from you, the volume goes lower and if you bring it closer to you it gets louder when it's closer to you so that's cool so it, it really mimics monitor or, or speaker that you're moving around i like that that's really cool okay so we know that works now so let's get out of here real quick let's check out if we have the new environment yet we don't so we don't have that yet that is unfortunate it's double checking actually so no we don't have that yet so probably by tomorrow or by the by next week monday because right now it's friday, friday september 6th so i guess this came out yesterday but we don't have the new environment which is unfortunate so i guess i'll make another video when that comes out so let's open up a game real quick uh what do i have see this is the other thing you see that it says hidden so stuff you don't want to see you put it in, you can make it hidden and then you can access it later but when you go into your regular like installed apps it's not there or under all you don't see it all right but they said now you can just completely remove it so let's see if i can completely remove this you cannot maybe i have to unhide it first and then go back here because as you can see it, it does get cluttered very quickly all of these are uninstalled apps so maybe i could just get rid of this one actually all right so right now no the only thing you can do is hide so later on probably because they, they always do this they, they do the in, initial software update and then they slowly add things so that's not available yet i am excited for that though maybe i just didn't know about it because i didn't see any videos but they are out there so let me know in the comments, do you, did you know about this already? Was this pushed out there? Are there videos? Are actual YouTubers already talking about it and I just kind of missed it? Or did they just throw this out of nowhere? Because I had no idea about this. And uh, 
In case you're wondering, I do have a bunch. I got a shit ton of games I haven't even opened yet. I haven't tried them at all. These little horror games, I don't want to play. But I'm going to do it for October just because, you know, Halloween and all. And I'm pretty sure that I'll get scared in the beginning. But eventually I'll just get desensitized to it because, because as we get older, you know, some of us just kind of die inside. So I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure these games will be, you know, they'll, they'll scare me initially and then I'll just get used to it. But that's for October. <sighs> Look at all these games. I got Arizona Sunshine 2, haven't even opened it yet. I, I really do have to get back into this. But alright, uh, let's jump into Waltz of the Wizard. Okay, so we're in, we're in Waltz of the Wizard. Okay, so, welcome. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Calm down. So, I actually played this, uh, like last week. Just because I, you know, I wanted to play it. It's an old thing, and I never played it before. And it was on sale. I got it. You know, what I didn't know was that it had a, a ton of updates that, because I never played before, I didn't know it had. And I really got pretty far in the game. And then when I had to factory reset, it all went bye bye. It's all gone. Now, I was watching an actual YouTuber. I might as well drop it. It's uh, what's his name again? Um, a wolf in VR and right after I had made my little my last update video where I actually kind of came in here for a little bit he put out a video about all the updates and I thought that was wild that I didn't even know about it but apparently there's a way that you can get back your stuff I don't remember what it was I'm have to rewatch his video so I can see it, was, it has something to do with this to get everything that you've unlocked uh, we'll see if that works but that, that'll be for another video uh, for now Let's see if the if this thing works. Okay, so we got our windows here. I can't move around when the windows are open though. So what else can we do? Okay, let's open up that over there. Oh, I guess it doesn't work yet. Okay, so it, it doesn't work yet. Because they said you can have your main one and up to three windows. I can only have three windows at the moment. So it's not working yet. So the whole multitasking within an, an immersive app is not working yet fair enough all right uh let's still got a double tap to get your hand tracking okay so you don't have the oh you do okay so that does work in here so if you want the menu with hand tracking okay you're gonna you kind of have to play around with it a little bit until it pops up all right there we go and then pushing it will do that but my hands are gone why are my hands are gone okay ah and then to turn it off, you can do this, but then... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, why is it working? Okay, so the actual, you know, when you do hand tracking that you pinch to drink, bring up the menu works. It's not working great, but it works. All right. I don't know when that was a thing. It probably was before. Let's get out of here. I may do a video about this. Not really an update video, because it's going to be late by the time I make it. But it was a fun app. So, might as well make a video about it. But for now, let's get out of here. Let's try one more time. Close these windows, just in case. Experimental. And go to Meta AI. And see if it works. Yes, yes. No. Okay. Take a photo. Nope. As soon as I try to talk, it's like it turns off. So, see? As soon as um, so right now if I double tap it's supposed to be like it's listening but then it disengages or, or maybe the microphone ain't working or something's not working and so this isn't working at the moment maybe it's just buggy on my end maybe because I'm recording I don't know but I'm gonna turn it off because if it's not working there's no reason for it to be on but all right that's what I got for you so version 69 already out like I said, maybe I was living under a rock and nobody else knows about it, and I did not know about it. Or they just kind of threw this out as a, like a surprise, I guess. But either way, that's what it is. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you want to see some extra stuff, like when I fuck up and push a button that completely ruins my recording, uh, why not become a member? And you can see me complain and, and lose my mind when I make stupid little mistakes like that. And, and other stuff, you know, not just that. But either way, uh, with any luck, 
I'll see you in the next video. And until then, take care.